guys, Iron Seagull here, back with more Let's Play The Sims 3 Into The Future. And, um, yeah, E101 Beta is about to get abducted by aliens. Yeah. So I said in the last part I wouldn't have expected to see a Plumbot fishing. Even less so expected a Plumbot to get abducted. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and now it's fall, although that doesn't really change a whole lot with the dystopian version of Oasis Landing because the trees are already dead. I wonder if the leaves fall off in the utopian version. I'm not really sure. We might just find that out. Who knows? Yeah, look at all these horses. This feels weird now. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure what the option is called to prevent horses from being in tra in travel sort worlds. Uh, getting a bit tongue twisted there but yeah I don't remember what the option is to turn horses off for travel world because I don't really want that. Uh, hopefully they're friendly. <laughs> the aliens leaving in the pickup truck again. That's funny. So yeah that was abducted. What happened up there? Yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff, I guess. <laughs> Going down the stairs. Wow, oh, Claudia is super stressed out. Um. Yeah, now what? <laughs> I just wanted to show that. Oh, there's the charging stations. Okay, let's recharge that then. Oh, I still have to show off the siphoning power thing, don't I? Um, let's find an electronic to do that with. Uh, siphon power. Oh! Um, yeah, and he, uh, I've managed to make Freezer Bunny Man have a good dream. So, nice. Inspired Handy Sim. Anything can be fixed or upgraded if Ego puts his mind to it. He'll learn very rapidly from handiwork. Uh, let's see. Let's have him learn the, um, handiness skill from the tabcast. Okay, let's. Come on, let's find something to siphon power off of. Or we can just siphon power off of the chamber, even though that's kind of a redundant thing to do, but just for demonstration purposes. Yeah. <laughs> Maintenance thing is going way down. The battery power is going up. Tracking the space object. Now let's do um, tune up. Oh, there it is. Oh, she's gonna have pumpkin pie. Hmm. Yeah, I really do like her uniform. It also suits her. It's, it's not really the. It's not really color match, but if I recolored it, then it would look nice. Uh, I don't know if the uniform will change though. Hopefully it will. Just so there's a bit of variation. So grab a plate. I think I need to make my sims stop using the jetpack like all the time so they don't keep shrugging their shoulders and taking it on and taking it off. It's getting kind of annoying now. Asarno. Azubo. Afuta. Seal down photo. Duo uh Oh yeah, we should also have Freezer Bunny Man become best friends with um, Emmett because that's part of the uh, Time uh, Keeper uh, legacy statue thingy. Uh, oh, he's gonna grab a plate. Yeah, I'll show you the Almanac of Time thing. This. Oh yeah, and there's the Descendants too. All of them. Unknown to you. And there's Claudia's. Well, it would be weird if he had Humbots had descendants. Um, yeah, I don't think I showed this off before, so... Yeah, we could also have Freezer Bunny Man become level 10 in Rhythmicon. Perhaps... Uh, Pioneer Plumbotics. Make your future tech quality pump out while in present day and then install the sentience trade ship while in present day. 
Okay. Oh, you can view the legacy statues that are in the park right now. Okay, I didn't realize that's what that was for. Okay, so here they are. There's, um, not sure what this one is. Uh, oh, the trendsetter. Can we see what the requirements are? Or we can read a description. Oh, refer to time on that. Oh, okay, that's the last one. Uh, set up a clothing pedestal in present day, then have four sims use it to change their outfit in present day. That sounds pretty easy, to be honest. I'm not sure who we'll get that with. And then the timekeeper is this one. Become best friends with the time traveler. Then change it to future, then utopia, and then repair it back to normal. So yeah, we've already changed the future with Freezer Bunny Man, so we'll continue doing that with him. I don't know if he can get multiple legacy statues, with, like with one sim. Uh, a few sims were lucky enough to win the lotto. Okay. Yeah, you can play the lottery by going to the grocery store. And yeah, here's the other statues. There's, I think that's the philanthropist. 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 That. <laughs> I don't know why I was getting tongue twisted with that. Oh, there's the Rhythmicon one. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then there's the Plumbot one there. Oh, and there's Emmett. I guess he's the timekeeper one. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, there's little chess boards over here that are a little bit different from the normal ones. I like that. Um, okay, what were we gonna do again? Um, not sure. Ah. <laughs> okay, you're just gonna do that then. Oh, we need to build this Rhythmicon skill a bit more, too. Claudia sleeping. Um, yeah, we have to wake her up to do that. Oh, she didn't really sleep that much yet. I guess we can just her wake up. I'm glad they don't get out of bed and then oh. get back in. They're thankfully smart enough to just lie down still. Mm. Uh, okay. Dream about dumb luck. Fun in the water. Dream about generations. Logic. Painting. Public speeding. Speeding? Speaking. That's what to say. Dream about advanced technology. And let's influence. The song shower with bubbles. Dream. Take wind cover to beach. What? Why is that bad? Push every red button. High speed wind cover chase. Stream bubbles. You pretty much just have to memorize which ones are good and which ones are bad, and then you can very easily get a good or bad dream, whatever you want. Go wild with laser sword. Oh yeah, I thought that might be bad, but I just wanted to make sure. Read the manual first. Uh, get back to the moon. Was there one that said in insert pets into it? It's a dream pod? That probably is bad. I'll read the manual first. Okay. I, yeah, now she just has um, she has the green Z's. And there's some movement here. Having good dreams. Claudia knew exactly what her brain needed from the dream pod and is blissfully dreaming as a result. Plus 10 mood. <laughs> getting slightly better at it. Oh, I hear someone else playing the Pop Goes the Weasel thing. It's hunger resolved from the synthesizer. Gee. It's all cool. <laughs> That's a good song. This also sounds familiar. Hmm. 
Yeah, they're probably all like public domain songs or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, you went on beta, what are you doing? Oh, he's drinking a drink. Oh, it's like a different, it's a different one. I guess Plumbots have different drinks. Oh, now his eye is green. <laughs> so much in common. Okay. Um, oh yeah, she should um, also flirt with, uh, I think Felix was his name. Uh, come on, try it. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I want to have her design more trait chips before going back to the present. So we might still, yeah, we might still spend the entire part here. But yeah, I do want to leave this dystopia future soon, and then we can start the utopian one. Because there isn't that much more to do here, if there's really anything. But yeah, if you guys want to help me out, leave, uh, leave suggestions in the comments below as to what I should do. Because I might miss something, or there might be things that I haven't even thought of yet. That I could show you guys. Because this is a big expansion pack. There's a lot of things to it. So I'm bound to forget something. Oh, there's a big uh, there's a big meteor that crashed here. Looks like they didn't really do much though. <laughs> These benches are still intact and everything. Is anyone awake to collect? Oh, well, obviously he is. Okay, let's have him fly here and see if it's still worth a decent amount of simoleons. At this rate, we could actually maybe afford a starter home, if there are starter home priced ones. So I don't know if they're all expensive. Come on, get over here. Okay. Oh, he flew in his pajamas. Oh, now he has level four on the advanced skill. Oh, okay, it's still worth a lot of simoleons. Like, about as much as it usually is. Alright. Over 7k, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wow, he really loves attracting uh, space rocks, doesn't he? <laughs> this is kind of funny. He's going around in his pajamas. I'll have him change into his normal freezer bunny man outfit. After swiping that. Okay. <laughs> Is his energy good? No. Or, yes, I was looking at his bladder need, but... Yeah, his, he has a lot of energy still, which is good. Um, oh, titanium. Wow, that's worth a lot. Oh, there's this Mamatonium, too, that I forgot to sell. That's a World Adventures uh, material. Uh, what are these words? Sell some of these. We're not really going to keep these around because we don't have room in our apartment for them. So we can just keep the, some of the smaller ones for good time's sake, I guess. Oh, uh, come on, Cloudier. Wake up soon. No, actually, she has plenty of energy. Let's just wake her up now. And <laughs> there's the dystopian version of the diner. Looks pretty bleak. Because, yeah, in the neutral one, it looks super colorful at night. Maybe it still does, but... I didn't really see that. Oh, whoa! Really? There's a meteor crash here too? Wow. Not even the diner is safe. Not even the diner. Or cafeteria, I guess it's called, technically. That's pretty crazy stuff. But hey, we're gonna make the simoleons now. Oh, and there's some bugs over here. Catch and eat. Uh, she's mopping up the puddle for some reason. Okay, let's have her go to the bottom porium. Um, I was. Oh, okay, she hasn't built it that far towards level five yet. Oh, that one's worth a lot. Oh, whoa. Um, okay, they're not in danger. They're fine. I just don't know where the Oh boy! Oh, it is gonna happen at the diner though. Oh my goodness. Uh, maybe you could just have you run for your life? <laughs> yeah. Might be a good idea. Oh gosh. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. <laughs> That's like something out of an action movie. It's like, run! Slow motion. No! And then, oh. That one wasn't worth as much. Technology sure is amazing. So do that much faster than normal. That's fantastic. Dude, look how quick we're making simoleons. We have over 10k now. That is just crazy, guys. That is just crazy. Um, yeah, we can ignore the smaller ones since they're not really worth that much. Okay, yeah, kind of got distracted by that. Um, yeah, let's have her design trait chips. Let's finally have her design more trait chips and then give... E101 beta some more personality. And now there's more Sims walking around burnt. <laughs> oh, actually, first let's send uh, Zar -Zar. Secret Admirer text um, Double? to Where's Felix. No. And then oh. design trait ships. Oh, wow. Shot down. <laughs> Yeah, I really am enjoying this let's play so far. So, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm putting these out so quickly, that's why. And also, I mean, the game's just released, so obviously there's still going to be like the most enthusiasm when it's released, so might as well put a lot of parts out early, you know? Um, yeah. Stuff's going on. I kind of like this uh, little thing in the middle here. Didn't really mention that, but yeah, I really like this little fountainy thing. It looks like something out of Late Night almost. That'd be like a really good addition to uh, Late Night Clubs. So a little suggestion to you builders out there if you're watching this. Oh, Handybot Trade Ship. That's that's really good actually. That's very good. Uh, let's design a nanite. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta check on our sprite. Because I'm stupid. And I keep forgetting about it. Maybe have her uh, hoverboard around a little bit, too. Um. Oh, okay. Get it off. Desperately needs attention. Clean it up. Clean Larry. I think I need to think of a better name for our hollow sprites too. Also, yeah, I need to find out the other ways to get hollow sprites other than leveling up the advanced technology skill because, um, yeah, there's 10 in total. Oh, what's this? Sprite's best friend. Claudia is incredibly devoted to her sprite's needs. She feels like a fantastic caretaker. That's good. Um, let's quickly feed to. Yeah, I'll need to make nanites too. Oh man, I'm trying to say so many things at once. But, um, yeah. Ever build up her advanced technology skill too, maybe by just boarding around a little bit. Oh, another freak storm is going on. Yeah, I guess maybe once we go back to the present, I'll have her change to her first outfit again. Oh, wow. Another crash. I heard it, but I'm not sure where it was. Oh, there's a biggish rock here. Let's, let's collect that. It's actually kind of a good thing this time around that she's going all the way around the perimeter. And then she can build up her skill a little bit more. Oh, it's only 28 simoleons. It did, I know it wasn't a gigantic one, but it looked like it could have been worth a lot of simoleons. <laughs> I like how these sims just autonomously explore the rifts and then there's like these big explosions like, oh, whatever, no big deal. Okay, go back in there. Yep, taking advantage of that moodlet. That she's building the advanced technology skill a little faster. 
I'm not sure if there's a book on advanced technology, because we could also use that instead of just randomly riding our hoverboards everywhere. So let's design some nanites. So we have more to feed our little hollow sprite. Uh, we're gonna need him to check up on his as well. Uh, to get to level 6. And Beta, how are you doing? Oh, we have like every piece except one. <laughs> and number one is the one that we're missing. Uh, 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 love to interact with one of its own kind. Oh, Neutron Nanite. Let's have her queue up another one. And create a trait ship. Man, I feel like I'm doing a lot at once here. Uh. Oh, okay, you're just gonna attract more stuff. <laughs> I don't know, just sell a couple. Or maybe you can have that one. Uh, yeah. Wait. Okay, let's have him go back to the base camp and you know, talk to Emmett's uh, hollow sprite and then build relationship with him. <laughs> oh yeah, there's this boss with this plumb bot. Wow, it's like maxed out. Best friend. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. Oh, right. Need specific nanites to, uh, to build that. To build trait ships. Okay. Okay, let's have her then make another nanite. Uh, create nanite. Create neutron nanite. And condenser. And the torque one. And we'll leave her alone to do that. And okay, where are you, Emmett? Oh wait, we can just uh, yeah, right click on him. I'm glad I remembered that. And there's his hollow sprite. Okay, I'll do this. Uh, sprite chat. Snooshy. And then, uh, hmm. Oh, we still have to do an introduction. Oh, why didn't? What? Why did he not accept it? Because they're not super close or anything? Oh, come on, you stupid hecklers! Don't, don't heckle. Oh, oh, Lufba. Oh, stream. Oh, their relationship's like nothing, even though they were talking about cause and effect and stuff. Thanks, space to fly around here. Kadoob. Asuba Zin Aka. Oh, we should do the uh, fly around with. We can do that with Claudia, perhaps. Or E101. Um, but let's see, his. Uh, still low. Uh, maybe he just. Clean. Oh, cool. Level 3. First, how to reverse engineer. Reverse engineer net will break it down into components that can be used to build additional traits. Well, first thing, uh, reverse engineering the wild nanites found around Lisa's landing. Uh, yeah, we'll gain even more components and discover how to create the, that nanite at any bot workshop. Okay. Siwa. Reminds me of EV. <laughs> oh, we don't need to feed her, I guess. Um, I guess we can talk to her. I don't think I showed the ch the talk to. It's cute. I really do like these hollow sprites a lot. Oh, for Wiki Benar, Uzma. Okay. Um, where is he at? 
Pepto Garnish. Okay, he's just over here. Oh, there's the stray raccoon too. Wow. Yep, the animals are all coming now. Thanks for the traveler mod. That's this guy right here. Um. Yeah, maybe we should have them go to that monorail station again. Because there doesn't seem to be much space anywhere to to fly around. Unless there is space like over there near the junk pile. If we can do it on the world lot. I'm not entirely sure, so let's find that out. Uh, start using jetpack. And then... Jetpack. Oh, we can do it in the world lot, it looks like. Okay, come on, get over here. Should also use that as hoverboard instead of walking. And build this. No, don't. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Uh. What? Why can't I do it anymore? Get over here. Okay, um, I'm so confused. Why can't I? Oh, he's not using his jetpack. Okay. Oh, how's the new pack? Oh, gosh. Sorry about all these stupid moments I'm having lately. Ah, okay, jetpack. Uh, fly around with. No, don't go away. Okay, good. Ha! <laughs> there you go. It's a bit dark, but <laughs> do a loop de loop. Yeah, Freezer Buddy Man can't quite keep up <laughs> with the 101 skills. I do like this interaction, though. It's really cool. Oh wow, I didn't realize how long this part was going on. Okay, I'll end this part here. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever you feel like doing. Because it lets me know that you really like this Let's Play. So yeah, have a good day guys. Do a barrel roll.